ओके सो इन थ्री टू वन नमस्कार दिस इज डॉक्टर हेमा दिवाकर स्पीकिंग टू यू फ्रॉम द सिटी ऑफ बेंगलुरु इंडिया टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट नॉट अ वेरी अनकॉमन सिचुएशन बट नॉट अ वेरी कॉमन सिचुएशन टू येस यू गेस इट राइट इट्स ऑल अबाउट एडोलिसेंट मेनोरेजिया दिस इज अ केस वेर अ थर्टीन ईयर ओल्ड इज बॉक टू अस बाय हम वेरी एंक्शियस एंड वरिड मदर सेंग दैट शी जस्ट अटेंड मेनार की सिक्स मंथ्स एगो but she is really bleeding very very heavily in every menstrual cycle so how do you deal with such a case the girl apparently is very worried to come to a doctor because this is her first experience with an specialist obgyn or a postgraduate intern who may see her in a public setting or a general practitioner whoever who will be presented with this case and we are going to address your approach to this case so first of all the history is very very important particularly the detailed menstrual history because mothers are often worried because the menstrual pattern of the daughter is very different perhaps from her own pattern and even changing more than two or three pads in a day she may consider it as very heavy because she is having less of bleeding than that so exactly as to what that heavy bleeding means in terms of passing large clots or frequency of changing pads or number of days that the bleeding lasts and the regularity of the menstrual cycles itself which of course is not expected to be regular soon after menarche so this detailed menstrual history first of all is very very important and it goes a long way in shaping your thought process of what you would do further secondly the fact that the girl has had her menarche only 6 months ago the hypothalamo pituitary axis will be very immature so it is expected to have irregular either early or delayed cycles sometimes 2 days sometimes 10 days so that pattern has to be studied as well and uh, with the thought process in your mind of reassurance that you know that this can happen but the patient and her mother should also know that this can happen thirdly you have to find out what is the social impact of this heavy bleeding does she miss school does she miss the sports and social activities how does it impact and really what are her symptoms beyond the history whether she has giddiness she has had fainting attacks in school whether she has severe abdominal cramps and incapacitating and disturbing her study and um, uh, activity schedule per se and lastly though this is not a very common cause you have to rule out by asking specifically the history and looking for symptoms where there may be some bruises and petechiae which is common in a bleeding disorder like a von willebrand disorder though this is rare this should be somewhere at the back of your mind so the history and the symptoms as you see is very very simple and on examination of course you will document the evidence of the pelor in the usual sites the conjunctiva the nails etc and also you will do a quick vital signs check because tachycardia is common and abdominal examination is important from the point of view of some genetic malformations which can be holding as to a hematoma uh, because she's had her menarche only 6 months ago maybe she's had just one or two menstrual cycles and Uh, the accompanying pain uh, may reflect in the terms of a, a pelvic mass which uh, uh, relates to a probable diagnosis of uh, hematometra so these are not the usual but they are uh, to be on your mind and on your list so if there is any palpable pelvic mass or tenderness that is the mainstay of the abdominal examination per vaginal examination Of course if the girl is not sexually active it is better that you avoid that or you call in a senior practitioner or an experienced practitioner who can reassure and do it in confidentiality and maintaining the privacy and dignity of the little girl then also the sixth sense of almost all the clinicians today is the ultrasound examination so you will ask for a, a pelvic um, ultrasound or an abdominal pelvic ultrasound which will rule out certain other issues which will help you form up your diagnosis investigations often times hemoglobin or the complete blood count 
is a mainstay of the investigations and you will offer her the first line of treatment and only if she doesn't respond your mind will start thinking about some other expanded tests that you must do inclusive of the ferritin of the hemoglobin electrophoresis of the coagulation profiles and certain other tests in coordination with an expert hematologist if required and based on any additional findings that you may have you may be tempted or prompted towards doing another additional set of uh, tests for uh, diagnosis but this is not rocket science diagnosing anemia in a young girl 13 years old who has had her menarche 6 months ago who is reported to have heavy bleedings is quite a simple thing to do iron supplements of course will help all of these girls whom we want them in their pink of their health as uh, um, soon as possible even before they continue their journey into adolescence and uh, uh, reproductive age now then what is the treatment that you can offer first thing on your list is to study the case well and offer reassurance both to the girl the mother and the family the second thing is to offer her iron supplements because it is very very important with unpredictable future cycles that you build up her iron and protein stores uh, for hemopoiesis third thing is offer her something to contain and control her bleeding so what is it that you would offer of course there are an array of hormone preparations inclusive of progesterone only hormones or the combined oral contraceptive pills but that's not the first thing that you would like to try you will give her drugs like tranexamic acid which is a fibrinolytic which is a non hormonal and evidence says that 50% of the bleeding can easily be controlled so the dosage is 15 to 25 mg per kg body weight which means that about 1 g 3 times daily is the usual dosage for 4 to 6 days and for 3 to 4 cycles with this we do hope that the girl will settle and this drug because it's non hormonal it's very appealing for the patient compliance because otherwise we as clinicians and the, the parents are worried about early institution of hormonal therapy and it should be resorted only when it's really necessary when we have drugs like tranexamic acid which can serve more than serve the same purpose uh, with the margin of safety because the side effects are very minuscule and uh, hardly bother either the patient or the clinician and there's nothing for us to be wary of and the third thing is the compliance and the follow up if you give this cycle on cycle for example for three cycles then you must call the patient back to check whether again the detailed menstrual history whether there has been any change in the pattern and the amount of bleeds and the clots secondly did the frequency of missing school etc and skipping the sports and the social activities whether all these things have Uh, lessened and also a hemoglobin check again to make sure that she has improved and last but not the least many of these young girls now use their mobile apps to map the menstrual cycles this is a very good thing because it does not depend on the memory and you can get an exact idea of how the immature hypothalamic pituitary axis has behaved and how her menstrual pattern is uh, going to uh, be progressing it's also likely that couple of months the in girl may not have the cycles at all which is a good thing so 6 to 1 months to 1 um, year to stabilize this entire scenario is a margin that you would give yourself and uh, the patient herself and uh, last but not the least a pictorial menstrual calendar to define the amount of bleeding and the number of days of bleeding all these an objective documentation is a simple thing to do but it will go a long way in firming up your thought process in what really needs to be given to this young adolescent 13 year old girl who has presented to, to you with menorrhagia and it will help you stop overreacting to 
many simple common problems that you come across in adolescence in your practice and last but not the least over calling a situation doing too many tests that are not really required pinching the pocket of the uh, family and also not following up meticulously to be sure that a consistent advice both on diet and iron supplements and the rescue of the tranexamic acid whenever there is excess bleeding is a good key point to remember in practice so finally we wish you the very best of use of non hormonal simple medications like the tranexamic acid which has stood the test of time in sailing many girls and women through the menace of menorrhagia thank you namaskar